Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Zina speaking. Today we are going to speak about what is hypercementosis or cemental hyperplasia. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. Hypercementosis, also referred to as cemental hyperplasia, as the name suggests, hyper, too much. Cementosis, okay, means excessive deposition of cementum on the root surface cementosis cementosis is equal to cementum and hyper means too much so it is excessive deposition of cementum that can be seen on the root surface now the question that may come into your mind does the patient will complain of pain having hypercementosis no of course it is just like any normal tooth asymptomatic but if the uh, tooth got infected of course he will have pain just like any other uh, normal tooth now what are the x-ray features how you can say that this tooth is having hypercementosis when you see a bulbous enlargement of the root within the pdl space or radio opacity that can be seen on both roots on both roots this is referred to as the hypercementosis so this is how you can diagnose the patient having hypercementosis or no you will see the x-ray the periapical x-ray you'll see if you have radio opacity that can be seen in both roots of the tooth so this is uh, hypercementosis or cemental hyperplasia now, what are the causes? The causes is unknown, but it may in some cases appear on supra erupted teeth after the loss of an opposing tooth. What do I mean by supra erupted teeth after the loss of an opposing tooth? I will show you a picture now in a moment. So as you can see in the picture that tooth number 26 and 27 are supra erupted because there is no opposing teeth. So there is a free space in the opposing dentition. That's why they are supra erupted. So here in the supra erupted teeth, if you take an x-ray, you might be seeing hypercementosis or cemental hyperplasia. So this is one of the probable cause behind this condition. Now, as you can see in the picture that these letters A, B, C, D, you can see that there is a bulbous enlargement of the root due to the excessive deposition of the cementum on the root area. Uh, so this condition is referred to as the cemental hyperplasia. Now, you know that uh, what is the function of uh, cementum uh, from the name cementum? It acts as a cement. Uh, it will cement the tooth to the, P to the uh, alveolar bone, or it will provide tooth support, or, to, or it will provide a tooth anchorage together with the principal fibers and the alveolar bone or the uh, collagen fibers. So this is the main principle behind the cementum. Now, what is one of the complications that we might suffer in dentistry uh, for any tooth that is having hypercementosis or cemental hyperplasia? Or the other question that may come into your mind is that why dentists, they hate treating a patient having uh, hypercementosis or cemental hyperplasia. The reason because regarding the exodontia, which is the tooth extraction, it will become difficult because you can, it is very difficult to extract the uh, tooth because like it will be very, uh, because from the name, cementosis, so cementum, so too much cement that is connected to the alveolar bone so it is very difficult to extract the tooth as a one unit you need to do tooth sectioning before extracting the tooth because you will never extract the tooth as a full unit it will never come out as crown and root together you need to section them in order to remove the tooth so that is the problem regarding the exodontia what about the endodontia which is the root canal treatment now for the root canal treatment when you try to take the working length uh, it may give you a false positive result 
that the working length, it is reaching the full working length. But when you take an x-ray in order to confirm your working length, you will see that your working length is short. This is because the, in hypersemintosis, it will give you a false positive results with the using the epix locator. So never rely on the epix locator when you are dealing with this tooth hypersemitosis. Always basically, you will never obturate until you take an x-ray, a good per epical x-ray to see the working length, if it is reaching the full working length or no. Another thing that you might easily get canal blockage, you might easily get ledge, any of these due to the ill working length we might uh, we might have errors in the working length when you are using the epix locator so these are the two common complications why uh, that's why the dentists they hate treating the tooth with the cementosis or hypersemitosis or cemental hyperplasia that's it. I am done. Thank you all for watching my video. If you have any questions, please do write it down in the comment section below. And goodbye, everyone.